These are some of the coolest transitions you will see on the Magnets Media channel and they are featured a lot. The reason? They're not just cool and brilliant but also surprisingly easy to create once you understand how. So in this video I'm going to share the knowledge and skills necessary to make such transitions. And by the end of the video you will be fully capable of making your own transitions look just as cool, leaving others to wonder how. Let's dive in. Alright, so we're gonna start off by getting a fusion composition and making it longer than 5 seconds. Then let's go to the fusion. So this first clip, there is two scenes and then the first scene kind of disappears. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. This field image is going to play as the first scene. So you wanna get it and then press shift and space to get toolbar and type image plane 3D or 3IM. Click this image plane 3D and then add renderer 3D so it's automatically connected and then connect the renderer 3D to the media out and now we have our first scene then go to the image plane 3D and from the transform tab adjusting the Z value you wanna make the image cover the whole frame then I'm gonna get the second image I have this field at night and now what I'm gonna do I'm going to copy paste these two nodes right here and then I connect this image to the image plane 3D and I take the output of the second render and drag it right here so it creates the merge node. And now we have the two scenes as you can see. We have the day and the night. And I have this transition over here. The, I couldn't find the exact same but the technique is exactly the same. So this is black and white transition overlay. How are we gonna use this? You're gonna need a bitmap node. And you want to connect the media into the yellow arrow of the bitmap node. And then you wanna connect the bitmap to the blue arrow of the merge node. And nothing happens. Because you need to go to the bitmap and go to the channel and set it to luminance. Now it's working but the direction is wrong. So from the bitmap invert it and then from the media in you wanna reverse it. That's looking great. This is how most of the cool transitions on YouTube videos are made but we're gonna go way deeper than this. So our second transition. In this transition there is a tree and the first scene is right side of the tree and the second one is left side of the tree. I like to call this tree splitter because it splits these two scenes from each other and for example in this clip the splitter is the lamp. I'm gonna take this forest image, we're gonna use this now, you wanna add image play 3D, just type 3IM, and then you wanna add renderer 3D, connect the renderer 3D to the media out, then get the second image, and now you wanna create another image play 3D, just like this, but we're not gonna create another renderer, what we are gonna do, we're gonna merge it right here. When you come up to the node and here are the dots, with these you can put the nodes to the viewer, so I'm gonna put the media out to the right one, and the merge 3D to the left one. And now we're in 3D space. We have these two images here and they are overlapping. That's why they are looking so wacky. So you can move it in 3D space using the arrows or from the image plane 3D transform tab. And I'm gonna make this bigger using the scale. Here is the final image so you can use that as the guide so they are in the middle of the screen. Now they are right next to each other. And now we could add our camera. Camera 3D and merge it to this merge node. Where did it go? Well in 3D space just use this blue arrow to move it backwards. Move it so there is not gaps left. And now we have the two scenes next to each other so it's time to add the tree. Now as you can see it's overlapping, so use the blue arrow or from the transform tab adjusting the Z value. Move it closer to the camera, just like this, and you wanna adjust it so it's in the middle. Alright, it's looking pretty nice, even though it's not realistic. And now moving the camera we can create our transition. So we're gonna bring it closer so the tree isn't visible. You wanna go to frame 0 and select the camera 3D. And from the transform tab you wanna keyframe the X value. Then for example go to frame 100. And now slide this to left and move the camera to other side of the tree. And now we have this nice looking transition. In the original video the camera goes back and there's different image. So I'm gonna take this day field image and I'm gonna add image plane 3D and merge it right here and it's gonna replace the right image and I'm gonna make it as big as the night image but I want it to become visible once the camera starts moving back to right so the camera reaches the left side at frame 100. So select the image plane 3D of the image that we just added and move it back with the Z value so it's behind this night image and when the camera reaches left side at frame 100 you wanna keyframe the Z value 
from the third image which we just added go one frame forward i bring it on top of the night sky so first it's not there but when the camera goes to the left side it just spawns there then go to frame 200 and from the camera 3d slide this x parameter so it goes to the right side of the tree and if we take a look of this it goes to the left side of the tree and then it goes to the right side of the tree and there is different image and if you made it here i think this video could be just right for you see you there